Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Sarah. Today I'll be checking out some more slime. Oh yeah, I have a collection of three different types of orb slimy slime. Now I have not heard of orb slimy before, but I went into Michael's recently and I found a whole bunch of different types of orb slimy slime. And the first one I'll be opening up is this Mix Your Own Orb Slimy Kit with a mystery monster inside. That seems pretty cool. Then I'll be opening up this Orb Slimy Horror Horror Slime that has bugs inside. Pretty gross, but I like the bright green color. Then the last piece is this really disgusting looking monster. This is perfect for Halloween, and I guess if you squeeze his body, then slime comes out of his eyeballs and mouth. <laughs> that is something I've definitely not seen before. So let's get started and mix up our own orb slimy first. Okay, so in this kit we have here uh, this one container. Ooh, I like the skull on the top. Pretty awesome lid. Let's open this up. Hmm, that's interesting. It looks like regular, plain old, boring slime to me. Okay, and then we have here the slime activator test tube. Now this reminds me a bit of blood. It has a really cool metallic look to the liquid. Ooh, so swirly and pretty. And then we also have this tool right here to mix these two together. All right, so let's pop the top off of the slime activator. That is really red. I wonder if this is going to dye everything red. And I guess we just have to pour this in. Now, I didn't notice any sort of directions on the packaging. And oh my gosh, look at the swirls on the top of this container. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that is so pretty. It's almost hypnotizing. Now I guess I'm just supposed to mix these two together, although it honestly doesn't seem like they're mixing. Now it's been a few minutes, so let's see if our slime is ready. This completely reminds me of like jello. Let's try this with my hands. Oh, oh, this is, oh wait, there's a little guy there at the bottom. Hang on, let me see if I can get him out. <laughs> Here's our surprise monster. It's some sort of a two headed monster. Hmm. All right, now this slime is pretty fun to play with, although I am a bit concerned that it's dyeing my fingers red too. But it is really nice and squishy. Look at that. Ooh. It is a pretty good textured slime. This would actually be perfect for Halloween, except maybe that it's turning my hands all red. Well, let's put it back in the package. And let me see if the red color will come out of my hands. Okay, so I did get a lot of the red out of my hands, although there's still a little bit on my thumb, so I have to say that was pretty successful. But I definitely wouldn't leave the slime around anywhere where it could stain. All right, let's open up our next orb slimy, which is horror horror and i think this is pretty cute such a really cute idea especially for halloween now have you guys decided what you're going to be for halloween yet i need to go into one of those halloween stores and see what they have available all right let's see Ooh, look at this this is like a neon slime Ooh, I like it so far. Oh, look, there's the bugs. I don't know if those are spiders or flies. Ew. Ooh, I like the slime a lot. This reminds me of the slime I had as a kid. These look like flies, I think. I thought they were little tiny spiders, but they look more like flies. 
I like how this line doesn't stick to my fingers. It's pretty rubbery and nice and stretchy. And of course, when you're done playing with it, you can make fart noises by putting it back into the cup and squishing it on the bottom of the cup with your fingers. All right, let's move on to our third product. This is some sort of a disgusting monster that when you squeeze him, the slime is supposed to come out of his head. And when I saw this in the store, it totally reminded me of those Capri Sun drinks. Um, I used to love those as a kid. I guess maybe the shiny metallic packaging reminded me of those. Alright, I kind of feel like this guy needs a name. <laughs> maybe his name should be Ed. He looks like an Ed, doesn't he? All right, now let's see how this works. I think there's probably some sort of a seal. Yep, there is. Let me get that off. Okay, seal is off, so let's stick the head back on. I think you just have to twist his head back on. Seems like it's working. All right, Ed, let's see what happens when we give you a squeeze. Oh, I totally see it going to his neck. Okay, I gotta squeeze a little bit harder, I guess. You guys see anything yet? No, it's definitely going up to his head. Is it coming out of his eyes yet? Ooh, nope. <laughs> uh, nothing in his sockets. I guess I'll just keep squeezing and squeezing. Uh, come on. Oh, wait, there it is. <gasps> starting to fall out too. Oh, that is really disgusting. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought to squeeze this guy. Ew! <laughs> it's gross how it comes out kind of chunky. Ew! Hey, you know what? I actually like the slime. It's just like the green slime that I tried earlier. Doesn't stick to my hands, feels really rubbery. I like it. Well, let's try squeezing some more slime out. <laughs> Ew! Oh, now it's coming out of his eyeball. I've been waiting for this moment. Ooh, so chunky. I like this slime toy. This is awesome. Now the directions on the packaging read that you can shove the slime back into the monster head and put it back in the package so that you can reuse this little guy and squeeze his slime out over and over again until you get tired of it. So I did try to do that, but I just don't have the patience to squeeze the slime back into the packaging, but you out there might be different and have way more patience than I do. I was able to get some of the slime back in, but I'm sure if I gave it some more energy and put more effort into it that I can get all the slime back into the package, but uh, I just don't have time for that right now. Well you guys, my favorite orb slimy was the monster with the purple slime, and you guys let me know what was your favorite in the comments box down below. Thank you again so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.